So Fort Laramie and Hicksville will battle it out for the Division Four state championship starting at 10 a.m. at Huntington Park in Columbus. We move to Division Three now, where Coldwater making its 20th state appearance and trying to get on to Saturday's final at 1 o'clock for Division Three. This one brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone Company, supporting Mercer County Athletics. Thanks to Wabash for bringing in these highlights. Minford trying to stand in the way of the Cavaliers getting to the state championship. Bottom of the first, men on first and second. Two outs, the Cavs, Jack Mullenkamp hits it to second. Minford can't get the out. Sam Braring scores. one nothing Orange just like that. Still bottom of the first, two outs. Bases loaded for Seth Miller. He drops it into left field. That brings in two runs. Three to nothing, Coldwater jumping out in front. And it's Jacob Harding's turn. He drops one into center field for another base hit. Here comes Mullenkamp around third and head first sliding into home. Another run for Coldwater. Still bottom one. Two outs. Harding's goes for the steal. Nobody covering second. Miller scores. Minford would finally get out of the inning, but not before surrendering five runs. Bottom of the second, not much different. Brering hits one into center field. That gets the Cavs started. He's on base with a single. Later, it's Mullenkamp. And Minford ruined the day. They pitched a Mullenkamp base hit. You know, Brewing's got wheels. The quarterback makes it six to nothing. Cold water. They're loving Huntington Park in Columbus. Now runners at second and third for Alex Worms. Ground ball up the middle. That's trouble for the defense. Coldwater scores two more runs. It's eight to nothing after two. We go to the third. Noah Miller hits the line drive up the middle. There's runners at first and second for Coach Harlemert's team. And it's Broaring again. Had quite the day at the plate. Actually hits this one off the grip of his bat. Still drops fair. Bases are loaded for Coldwater, and once again, they come through in the clutch. Jacob Wenning hits one towards third. The throw to first is high. Another error. That brings home the run to make it nine to nothing. Cavaliers. Runners at second and third. Now for the senior, Nathan Grunden. Grounder to third. Minford, you guessed it. They don't make a play for the first. Coldwater retreats the second. Run scores. Ten nothing. Orange. Bottom four, Cavaliers approaching the run rule in the state semifinal. Joey Welsh off all the way to the wall. Ross Weigel scores. 11-0 Coldwater hustling all the way home and safely. Top five, Coldwater three outs away from moving on to Saturday in a run rule fashion. Grund and the heads up catch at third. So one down. Then it's Mitch Niekamp catching the pop fly. Puts Coldwater one out away from winning this one in five innings. And Brad Gear, one pitch away from being pulled by his coach, picks off the man at first. Coldwater's moving on to the Division III state championship game on Saturday. Well, it's never easy. I think we come this far, you know, tribute to our, our senior group of players that, you know, Brad Gear had a great start, four on the mound, very efficient game, but I think. Look through our lineup, our seniors stepped up big all the way through. Huge first thing, I think. Uh, you know, I think you can tell our guys ready to play in the process of, of that team toughness coming here. And, and I don't know if they were a little nervous, but our guys sure weren't. You know, I think we've been here enough to experience this, and it's about you know our toughness and our seniors playing way well. Uh, it's a lot. I mean, these kids here were were eighth grade, seventh grade. We play here in 14, so I think they believe and play. You know, our, our, our summer team, our program. The bottom line is our program is huge. I think they believe in that, and that bottom line is they able to come play for this, and our, our team and this facility, so it's great. But he was coming out at 50, so the bottom line is, you know, not to be, you know, too mean, but that pickoff play, you know, poor guy, but it's like, it, the bottom line is we, went, we came and went two games. We won the first one, so now a matter of us coming back and playing Saturday. Well, we knew we were getting a lefty late in the week, so we really focused on waiting on the ball and driving the ball to the right field. And once we started driving the ball right field, we just got a couple base runs, and then the momentum kicked in, and we just came with energy, and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to come with energy and get on them early. Oh, it's awesome watching that 2014 state title. A lot of us were here, and it's just great feeling. And we, we know we got one game left, so seven innings, leave it all out on the line. And we're going to do the same thing, come with energy, get on them early. That's the goal, and see where it takes us. 
Uh, yeah, uh, you know, coach just tells me to throw things in there and throw strikes, and uh, that's what I did because I trust my defense, and it seemed like everything they were hitting today was just kind of like, you know, finding one of our fielders, and, you know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't, but uh, today definitely worked out in our favor. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the reason why we called that pick play towards the end, just in case if that batter fouled a couple off or something like that. So uh, being, being at 50 or under, whatever it was, I'm, uh, I'm uh, definitely in relief for Saturday now. Uh, you know, winning the state championship for our community would be definitely pretty huge. Uh, there's not a lot of guys on this team other than like football players who, you know, have won a state title. But uh, we definitely knew we had a shot coming into this thing. And now that we're here, it's kind of surreal. Uh, definitely got a lot of work to put in because these, these next two teams that are playing are pretty good. So we got a lot of work to do yet. So Coldwater makes it a third Northwest Ohio team playing for a state baseball championship on Saturday as they will have the first pitch at 1 p.m. Thanks as always to Wabash Mutual Telephone Company for supporting Coldwater and all Mercer County athletics.